Squirrels like nuts, everyone knows that. So here in the UK, where the number of grey squirrels has increased rapidly, scientists have come up with a novel way of controlling the population. Hazelnut paste laced with contraceptives. He looks like another charming woodland creature. But grey squirrels are actually dangerous interlopers responsible for killing and maiming tens of thousands of young trees every year and devastating the population of this little fellow, the UK's native red squirrel. The traditional way of disposing of pests like grey squirrels works in the short run but people don't like furry animals being shot. And anyway, it's a temporary solution. Grey squirrels breed rapidly and populations can recover quickly, which is why government scientists are exploring a more humane alternative. Whoa. Now, you won't be surprised to hear that squirrels just love this. It's a, it's a kind of hazelnut butter. They find it irresistible. And what the scientists are doing is dosing this with contraceptives. Now, the idea is the squirrels will be unaffected, except, of course, they won't be able to produce any young. But how do you ensure only grey squirrels eat it? Well, the scientists have come up with a cunning plan. So it has a weighted door at the front that an animal has to push open to access the bait. And this is the bait here, so that's that paste. Yeah, it has a metal case to keep out larger animals and we raise it up on a stand uh, so that smaller animals can't access it. But where do you get squirrel contraceptives? The team are investigating two long-lasting birth control treatments the lead scientist on the team says progress has been good. She hopes it will be ready to roll out in the wild within two years. You area. could reduce them significantly, like bring them to, to the brink of local extinction or even um, eradicate them from some areas, provided that you can do a coordinated control over large areas. Reducing the population of grey squirrels should help protect the remaining reds. It could save the timber industry millions of pounds a year and should also help tackle climate change by reducing damage to the vast new forests the government has promised to plant to soak up carbon dioxide emissions. So it looks like the only loser is the grey squirrel. Justin Rowlatt, BBC News, the Yorkshire Dales National Park.